Hello everybody, it's Friday, time for Facebook Friday. I hope you guys have had a good week. It has been wild and crazy here as always. Make sure my camera is straight. All right, let's see if you guys can find me and I can find you. All right, let's see. Are you guys there? Is anybody there? Yes, okay, good. I can see you guys jumping on. Excellent. All right, so this week, I am hopping back to the spring catalog. Um, our spring catalog, its official name is the January to June 2021 mini catalog, but I just call it the spring catalog. This catalog ends at the end of this month, um, specifically June 30th, making sure, yep, June 30th ends. So it'll be the last time, oh, Stephanie, hey, you're in Michigan and yes, now you're rubbing it in. I know, I wish I was there with you guys. I hope you're having a good time. Um, so this catalog ends at the end of this month and there are some really good things still in here. So I thought I would step away from our new annual catalog for a couple of weeks and just revisit this before it's all gone because I don't want you guys to miss out on anything. So this week we're gonna do the Forever and Always bundle, which is, where is it? It's right here, Forever and Always. And I have told you guys I made these cards back in January. Um, I was gonna do it for a Facebook Friday kind of Valentine's theme and then time got away, I didn't have enough weeks, whatever, never got to it. So then the cards got lost, <laughs> couldn't find them anywhere. I don't know what happened to them. So luckily I went back in my phone and I had taken pictures of them. So I recreated them, except I changed the colors. I'm using our new um, polished pink in color that I love. Um, so I've kind of updated them from back then. I used Rococo Rose, which has retired. So that's what we're gonna do today. <laughs> Carla, you think I should be doing a boozy treat? Oh, let's see, I can't see all of the comment. I feel like you should be doing a boozy treat with a set, you know, like a mini champagne bottle. Oh, that would be cute. Or a champagne jelly belly bottle. Yeah, I have that little champagne jelly belly bottle. This cabinet right here, down here, is my little like junk cabinet with all the candy and all the things that I use for my projects. And I just saw one of those in that cabinet this week. That would have been a very good idea. Maybe I can come up with something for Monday. Okay, so anyway, that's what we're gonna do. I wanna run through just a few things um, before we get started. Um, I have, uh-oh, hopefully I don't drop that phone. <laughs> it's like a Jenga in here, a Jenga tower. Everything's gonna fall. Um, I announced that Club Create for July is gonna be the beauty of Beauty of the Earth Suite, specifically Beauty of Friendship stamp set. You guys probably know what I'm talking about, this one. Um, I had this, you know, I kind of sketch out what I'm gonna do for the next few months, and I had this one written down, but when it was time to design, I was like, eh, I don't know. And I asked you guys to vote, and this was the one that, like, huge. You guys wanted this one. So that's what we're doing. And now I'm so glad that you guys chose that because I adore the projects that I came up with. So Club Create is five projects. This month is going to be four 3D project. No, four cards, one 3D project. Um, Club Create is a subscription and it comes to you in the mail and you get about $20 in product, five projects, PDF, and a video. And if you stay for six months, you get $25 in product on the sixth month. Um, you can sign up and then drop whenever you want. If you want to sign up for one month, you would just sign up and then cancel. <laughs> you know, you can do that. Um, but I would hope you would stick around um, and maybe get your Stampin' Rewards $25 on your sixth month. Um, the subscription period for this July kit, Beauty of the Earth, is open. The subscription period is from um, June 8th to July 7th. So you've got a while if you want to think about it. You can click the tab at the top of my blog that says Club Create and you'll see it right there. The PDF is done. The PDF is available for those of you that just want the PDF in the video. It is now available in my PDF store. Um, it's an immediate download, which means that the website emails it to you as soon as you buy it. So um, if, you're, if you've been waiting for that, go check it out, okay? All right, so that's that. Um, 
I'm going to remind you again about my sweet as a peach class. This has been very popular. I um, appreciate all of you who've registered. Uh, this class, we've, I've, you know, I've told you how much I adore this paper and this stamp set. And funny thing is, I can't stand peaches. <laughs> So, but I love the stamp set and the uh, paper especially. So this is a class to go. That's different from my Club Create. This is a standalone. You sign up one time for this and that's it. Um, it will include bolts of ribbon and a package of rhinestones. Um, you can add on the bundle. Um, well, option one has the bundle included. Um, and if you get option one, the ribbon is free. So let, let's see, there's that. Um, the PDF is available, you can get it without the bundle. My team gets it for $22. This one is a big class, seven projects, four cards and three 3D projects, okay? The deadline on this one, we've still got some time, June 25th, those will ship around July 1st, okay? So that link will be at the end of today's blog post over at pinkbuckaroo.com, you can find it over there. Uh, if you scroll down and if you're watching on Facebook, I will update and YouTube, I will update um, the description with that link. You have to actually email me for the registration link. Per Stamping Up Policy, I can't put that link out on my website or in so on social media. I can only email it. So you have to send me an email and just say, please send me the link. No big deal. Okay, I'm going to flip you guys around because I want to show you something um, specifically on my iPad, out, and I also I adjusted, I changed my camera holder a little bit, so things might be a little bit off. Hopefully, they're not off. I I want to be able to keep my fan on, and in the summer it gets hot in here, but it makes my camera sway. So I'm hoping maybe I fixed it. I can't tell, it looks like it's swaying a little bit. Well, we'll see. Um, we'll give it a few minutes and see if it, if it um, stops swaying. Okay, I wanna talk to you guys about the last chance list. Last week I told you guys I had a um, PDF for you that had the big font. Well, when I went back to pull it up yesterday, it was one page. Nobody told me it was just one page. So I have fixed it and um, I will post the link to the full PDF today for those of you that want this big print. And I have sorted it by page so you can go page by page in your catalog. Um, I wanna point out a few things that are on sale. Um, <laughs> there are some things in here that are pretty deeply discounted and I wanna make sure I pointed them out to you um, because I actually am surprised that these things haven't sold out yet. Um, they're really cute and cheap. So I, I have written a few things down that I wanted to point out to you. Um, one of the things, I'm going to start over here, is the, where is it? This You Are Amazing Project Kit. If you like kits or you have kids at home this summer, this is a really good one. It's right here on page 7. It's pretty simple. It's not difficult. It's kind of an introduction to stamping if somebody is new or a kid. Um, this would be a good one. So I pulled it out just so that you can see it. It's really cute. I love the colors. Everybody needs just some basic cards. Um, a thank you card. You are amazing. Birthday. Uh, let's see, where are the other ones? Back here, hip hip hooray, three cheers to you. Really cute colors. Um, there is a stamp set that goes with it, or you can use whatever stamps that you have at home. Um, the project kit does not include the stamp set, but right now the kit itself is only $15. Let me go back over there. $15. What page did I say? Seven. That's really, really cheap. Okay, so the whole kit, all of this, you get all of this for just $15. That is insane. Let me... I have to double check. Yeah, that's what I wrote down, $15. So that means it's 50% off. So I just checked. I wrote all this down about an hour and a half ago, and so it's still in stock. But is it swaying, Michelle? Okay, I'll turn the fan down. Um, that is a really, really good deal on that kit. 
All right, let's see if that does better. I turned it way down to the bottom. All right, so then um, I wanted to show you some of, there's three things that have sold out. The kangaroo dies. I hope, is it the kangaroo dies or the, yeah, kangaroo dies have sold out. The, and then two papers, the ice cream corner designer series paper is gone, which does not surprise me. And the well-suited designer series paper is gone, which also doesn't surprise me. So cute. But there's a couple of papers that are, are marked down as well. The, um, and look, I have mine cut down to six by six, but they're 12 by 12. This paper right here, the Love You Always specialty designer paper is also 50% off, $7.50. That's really good paper. The foil that goes with it also, oh look, you can see my reflection, <laughs> is $5. And you know, in our main catalog right now, we don't have a great selection of foils. So um, if you use foil, you like foil, I would recommend stocking up on this because this is really good stuff. I really like this. I think it's like a champagne color. It's not as bright and brassy as gold. And then there's these, there are these uh, Golden Garden Designer Specialty Acetate Pages. These are the ones, and I seriously don't have very much of it left, so I pulled what I had. These are the ones that line up with the art gallery paper, like this. I don't know where this one goes. I don't even have a full sheet, but it lines up. There we go. And it gives you an outline of that paper. So there are three sheets in each pack, is that right? Or six sheets? What does it say? It doesn't say. I think there's three sheets. Um, they're really beautiful. So those are only $4.50 as well. Amazing. It's amazing to me when I see these at the end of the catalog and when they're marked down. Um, okay, embellishments. This uh, Mossy Meadow braided linen trim is one of my favorites and I, I really thought this was going to carry over but it did not and it's only three dollars and fifty cents that would be great at christmas um to wrap up packages and stuff it's a good green so if you want to add that to your order it's only three dollars and fifty cents let's see there are two other trims oh my favorite twine three dollars three dollars there's still some left. So if you're like me and you're a twine addict, um, grab those. That's the Snail Mail Twine Combo Pack. Also, this ribbon right here, the Blushing Bride Metallic Ribbon. Gorgeous. Really, really pretty. And it goes really well with those foils, uh, those foil papers. And then we've got the Clever Clasp. You guys know how I feel about a, a clothespin or a clip. <laughs> I love them. So these are leaving, which makes me sad because then I don't have any current product that's a clip. And I love using clips on my projects. So these are $3.75, which is 50% off also. All right, those are so cute. Um, the ladybugs, which, you know, when I did a search, they didn't come up. But then when I checked the ISR, they were still there. Um, so I think they're still there on in stock. The cutest embellishment I think we've ever had. These little um, ladybugs, only $3.75 also. So look, gosh, when I look on the iPad, it almost looks like they're real crawling around in that little, <laughs> that little Petri dish. Anyways, those are cute. One glue dot will hold them to your card. Very cute. $3 and what did I say? 75 cents. And then these are fantastic too. You always need heart. Well, I always need hearts for projects. And these lay down flat. They're really good. $4.50. Not quite 50% off, but still a good bargain. Um, okay, one more thing. No, two more things. Okay, these. Why we don't have these carrying over. I love these so much. These resin heart uh, little stickers. They are part of the snail bundle, right? Or sweet. Wasn't it in the snail or the kangaroo? Anyway, I have used these to death. $3.50, also 50% off. So I guess they have a, a bunch of them, and so that's why they've marked them down. Um, but they will, if they sell out, they'll be gone. Okay, last thing, I had to point out this punch. It's only $9. It's the Kissy Lip Punch with a heart. I don't, I, again, nobody asked me, no, Stampin' Up! didn't call me and say, Erica, what do you think should carry over? But if... <laughs> 
if they had, I would have said that. That's so cute. The punch and the stamp set are retiring. Um, that kissy lip stamp is so good. I love it. Um, and it goes really, really well with that punch. So anyway, that's just, I just wanted to point those things out to you guys. There's some fantastic things marked down. Not everything retiring is marked down, but a lot of it is. If you look over here on this side of the sheet, you'll see, um, the discount and, um, the price. Now, before I move on, I'm going to show you also on my iPad. How many of you use your iPad to shop? I don't, but I know I hear from a lot of you that use your iPad. Anyway, on your laptop too, or phone or whatever, it works the same. You click those little bars. Actually, on your computer, I think it has the words across. Click sales and specials, and then right there, last chance products. And it's going to bring up everything from that catalog that's retiring. Now, some of it, like the sweet ice cream stamp set and the punch, are in the new catalog, but not offered at the bundle price. So you save 10% when you buy the bundle price. When they move to the next catalog, typically they don't offer them in the bundle price. But you'll be able to see what's still in stock here. This is what we're using today, is this True Love designer series paper, black and white, you know, we've all <laughs> begged Stampin' Up! for black and white paper because we use it so much. Um, so if you haven't gotten that or you need an extra pack, I would recommend getting it. Um, one thing I like to do is to sort um, price low to high, and that usually will bring things up. I don't know why it's not doing that this way. Um, it has all the bundles first, but then it'll show you all the really cheap things all the, you know, the embellishments and the things I just showed you that are marked down. Oh, that little Valentine's kit. That's so cute. That would be really good if you've got kids for Valentine's Day. Um, anyways, I just wanted you guys to know where all that was. Three lines up at the top, sales and specials, last chance products. Okay. All right. Moving on. We're done. I'm done. I just had to tell you guys about the good things that are still left. Um, okay, let's see. What do I have here? Last thing I'm going to tell you is the All-Star Tutorial Bundle. This month features the Sand and Sea Suite or Bundle. And look at that. Gorgeous projects. Um, each tutorial is done by a different Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Um, they are video links and they all feature the uh, Sand and Sea or Friends are Like Seashell stamp set. This one right here. And you get this for free if you spend $50 with me online. And I haven't mailed these out in about a week. I'm going to set this on my chair. I always remember during Facebook Friday to do it. Um, but you, so you get it for spending $50 with me, $50 or more with me online. Or you can buy it in my PDF store. If you're a demonstrator or you have a demonstrator and you don't want to um, put it in online order to get it free, you can get it for $15 in my PDF store. Okay, and my little project this month is so cute. I didn't use the paper in that suite. I had to use the party, pattern party designer series paper. My favorite. Okay, so that is that. Let me get a drink. I'm suddenly thirsty. Okay, how about some prizes? Prizes, prizes. Last week, I picked two winners from last week's shares, Judy Lucas Judy. I don't know if that's a code name or your real name, Judy, but you'll know who you are. She won the Delicate Petals and Connie Cohentop. Friends are like seashells. Connie, I feel like I have your mailing address. Anyways, ladies, if you'll just message me or email me, that way I don't have to search high and low for it. You'll get it faster if you send me your, your mailing address. Okay, thank you so much for sharing my um video on facebook this week how about this one hopefully you haven't ordered this yet measure of love i will tell you next month's class to go july's class to go is going to feature the what's cooking bundle and i finished it yesterday and i have to tell you that i think it's probably my favorite class i've ever designed it's so cute i had planned on using this stamp set with it but I ended up only using the What's Cooking. So that means we're going to use this for Facebook Friday next month. I'm very excited about that. 
because usually I can only use it, I can't use it for a class and Facebook Friday. I can't, you know, ring out like that many projects usually. <laughs> so I've saved this one for Facebook Friday. Anyways, I know you guys probably love this as much as I do. This is the prize for this week. If you want to win this, all you have to do is share the video here on Facebook and um, tell me you shared in the comments and I will pick two winners next week. All right. Hey, next week, by the way, we're going to do the, where did I put the catalog? We're going to do another stamp set from here and I'm so excited about it because I had forgotten that I hadn't used this stamp set yet. Hold on. Wait a minute. Several of you have requested it. And I, I said it was one of my favorites from the very beginning. Where is it? <gasps> this one. Hey, girlfriend. So cute. So we're going to do that next week. Um, it is retiring. It'll be gone. It's not on sale, but it's um, $21. And it's leaving at the end of the month. So anyway, I had to make sure that I use this one. So that'll be next week's Facebook Friday. Okay, all right, we are done, we are here. And you know what, it never fails. I always think I'm gonna get done. I'm gonna do my whole talking in less time and it's always like right at 20 minutes. I, I have a lot of words, I guess. Anyways, if you have never joined me for Facebook Friday, I usually pick one product, a bundle or a stamp set, and I make three projects with it. Um, this week we're doing the here it is, Forever and Always, which is at the, the front of that retiring catalog. These are retiring. Um, and this is kind of like a card class. If you like the projects and you want the make and takes, they are free with an order, which is how I ran my card class when I had card classes here. Um, free with an order, $35 or more will earn you the make and takes, but you have to use that host code. A lot of orders last week did not have the host code. So I assume when you don't use the host code that you don't want the projects. Sometimes I can look back in your order and see if you did order, if you happen to order the bundle, but that doesn't always mean that you want the make and take. Sometimes you already have the bundle and you order other stuff. So you have to use the host code to let me know if you want the make and takes, okay? If you forget the host code, no problem. Just email me and let me know. That way I can add you to my list. Um, some people don't want the make and takes and that's totally fine with me, uh, but I just need to know one way or the other. This is what the make and takes look like. I do pretty much everything for you except the stamping. I do not do any stamping. Um, you will always need whatever I'm featuring. So for this week's make and takes, you'll need these dies and this stamp set, um, but I will send you everything else. I make a little tag for you and I put everything in there that you'll need to make. Look, isn't he cute? Love him everything you need to make your projects. Okay. All right. So that's that. And it has to be Monday at midnight because I'm telling you guys, I am a creature of habit. I get up Tuesday morning. I check my email and then I make a list who all put their order in by Monday at midnight or by the time I got up on Tuesday. And then I start cutting and I'm done by lunchtime. So you have to get that order in by Monday at midnight. Okay. Okay, we're ready. All right, let me make some room here. My kids are all here. The dogs are all here. And I don't know if you guys can hear it, but next door on that side, they are putting in a pool. And today is the gunite day, the day they do the, like the concrete, you know, it's called gunite. And those trucks have been out in front of my house since I got back from my walk this morning at 7.30. And they are so loud. Hopefully, you guys can't hear them. If you can, I apologize. I have no control over that at all. The other part that, of that that I don't like is that the pool is right outside my bedroom window. Like, literally, there's a fence. Here's my window. There's a fence, and here's the pool. Like, like six feet. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. And I haven't told you guys yet, but we are going to build a new house. So I won't have to worry about that eventually not not any time in the next well hopefully in the next 18 months but with the price of lumber right now we're kind of waiting on things but we're ready i need more room i'm gonna have a standalone studio at our new house it's going to be very exciting all right the first card now i teased you guys and told you we were going to do anniversary cards i mean wedding cards 
but I do have one anniversary card. And I guess it doesn't say happy anniversary, but I think that's probably what I would use this card for. Love you more. Or maybe a girlfriend that has, you know, been there for you. I don't know. There, I guess there's a lot of reasons you could use this, but that's what I was thinking. My 20s, I can never remember, 22nd anniversary is coming up in a week and a half. So I'm done. I have my card. <laughs> All right, let's get started. We're going to do, we're going to, let's see, where do I want to start? Let's start by making our little banner, okay? Uh, the little hearts, by the way, is from the other stamp set that's with this suite in the catalog, um, always in my heart. So I'm using these little hearts. And in a little while, we're going to use the dies for this, these flowers. That is not retiring, so it'll be around. All right, so notice I am using Polish Pink. It is what I like to describe Barbie Pink, Bubblegum Pink. It's like the perfect pink for me anyway. Um, so if you don't like this bright pink, use something else. Use Flirty Flamingo. Use... Um, blushing bride use what's our other pink petal pink all right um, but I I love this pink all right so to do the words right here love we're gonna use the word die and the outline die and I kind of call that like the bubble the you know the outline around the word and we're gonna use adhesive sheets on all the projects today because as you can see that's very skinny and I am a hot mess when it comes to liquid adhesive, especially on something um, as skinny as that. I have completely abandoned the fine tip glue pen, I'm sure you guys have noticed, because I just, I can't do it. Um, I wish that I had a more steady hand, but I don't. Luckily, we have these adhesive sheets. The adhesive sheets, once I cut this out, is gonna turn that into a sticker, which is much easier to manage than that fine tip glue pen. All right, so let me bring over my cut and emboss machine. Well, of course, it's over here in a big pile. And we're gonna emboss that um, polished pink piece with the, let's see if I can remember the name, Tasteful Textiles. Did I say it right? I always get that one wrong. Tasteful Textiles embossing folder. And when you're using these embossing folders, you're gonna take off all the plates down to the just the number one plate, the base plate. And Stampin' Up! has this really cool um, feature on their embossing folders where there's this line. So you can put your paper right there and line it up. This, this pattern is so, I don't even know what the word is. You don't really need to worry about which side of the embossing folder you use on here because it's so, I don't even know what to what, how to describe it. Either side is going to be, you're going to achieve the same effect, either side, because the pattern is so small. I think that's what I'm trying to say. But anyway, if you use that line, it'll keep you straight and you won't emboss your piece and then take it out and it'd be crooked. And then you'd be like, oh, I have to do it again. All right, so there we go. The Tasteful Textiles, it looks kind of like carpet, like office carpet. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about in the like the office. Okay, so now we're going to go back to die cutting, which means you need one and two and three. And then we're going to put down the love and we're going to put down the love outline. And you know what? I forgot. No, we're not going to we're not going to die cut the other words. It's the next project. We're going to do that. All right. So let's move this over here. Yeah, fine tip blue pen and I, we just finally parted ways. <laughs> we just finally, I, you know, for years I used it and sometimes it would, I would get it okay, but other times I wouldn't and I would be mad. So I just decided, once we got the adhesive sheets, it was like, I don't need to even try anymore. All right, so we've got this vellum and the words come out in two pieces, so don't freak out. It's supposed to be that way. The hardest thing about the adhesive sheets, there's two things that are tricky. 
One, remembering to use it because you have to put it on your cardstock before you put it through the cut and emboss machine. <laughs> and half the time I forget, I cut it and then I'm like, oh, I meant to put adhesive sheet on the back of that. So that's, you know, you gotta remember. Um, and the second thing is if you have stupid nails like mine, sometimes you have a hard time getting that to separate. But the take your pick tool helps. I have a trick for that too, I just didn't do it this time. You can cut your adhesive sheet into strips so that it has a split in the peel when you put on the back of your paper, which is much easier. Okay, so we've got that. Let's emboss these other words, the you and the more, love you more. Craft white ink on basic black. Okay, and then we're gonna emboss that with white embossing powder. <laughs> Lisa, same with you, huh? The embossing powder, I mean the uh, fine tip blue pen. Yeah, I just gave up. I, uh, you know, there, I guess there's some things maybe I would use it for, but the adhesive sheet just solves that problem. I put the adhesive sheets today. I don't usually put the um, adhesives on my supply list, but today I put the adhesive sheet on the supply list if you want to look for the number because I use it on all three projects. I think it's kind of a must with a stamp set. Um, Lisa, there was some fine tip glue that was like a bad batch. One time I bought a whole bunch of it and none of it would stick. And I called and they replaced it. Um, there was like a bad batch. That was years ago though, maybe two years ago. All right, so we've got that and I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut that like that. You can use your trimmer, but I'm just gonna go for it. Okay. There's also in this die set three strips to cut out these words. Um, so you don't have to do that, but I'm cutting these apart. So I figured let's just do it quick and easy. All right, we're gonna use the, I'm using the Taylor Tag Punch to punch the bottom. I, I know we have a banner punch, but <laughs> I just find it easier to use the Taylor Tag Punch. I learned that trick from my friend Ange when I was in Canada one time. I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, no, I don't need this. We're gonna, we're gonna use a little bit of Tombow on the back of this. You could put adhesive sheet on the back of your vellum too. But again, you have to remember to do that ahead of time. I'm just gonna put a little bit, little dots of glue here. And behind the letters, I didn't, did I tell you what color this is? Melon Mambo. Look how fun Melon Mambo is with polished pink. I think these colors go great together. All right, so love and then many dimensionals. You and more. Hello, everybody who has said hello. I'm sorry. Hello, hello. I'm glad you're here. Love you more. That's too low. Let's move it up. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna put this card together. It's pretty easy after this. You know, I actually cased something in the catalog. Again, if you didn't hear me at the beginning, I made these cards back in January and I was gonna use them for Facebook Friday then and then I never did. And so see right here, this project right here, I cased that, which is like a little bag. Um, but I made these cards back in January and I used Rococo Rose back then. Well, I lost the cards. <laughs> I don't know what happened to them. I lost them. And um, I, what, what side do I wanna use? Hmm. All right, I'm just gonna do this side. Um, I lost those cards. So I luckily found the pictures on my phone. I had taken pictures of them and recreated them with new colors. All right, dimensionals, dimensionals, dimensionals. And we're gonna put that right there at the top. And then the best thing is I get to use my polished pink ribbon. 
Stampin' Up! is so good coordinating their products. They have their colors and then they have the paper, the ink, the marker, the ribbon, the embellishment, so that you don't have to struggle finding the right match. You know, when you're trying to match things from, um, you know, different companies, you have a paper from one company, you have a ribbon from another, they're not the right color, that can be frustrating. That's really kind of what Stampin' Up! is known for, that color matching, color coordination of their products. All right, there we go. Now I have three anniversary cards. Do you think my husband would notice if I use the same card three years in a row? <laughs> <laughs> All right, card number one is done. Let me get my tray. Where did I put it? And that's weird. Where did it go? It was right here. It's huge, and I'm not seeing it. Okay, well, whatever. Whatever. We'll just move on. All right. Now, the next card is a wedding card. I did promise you wedding cards, so we have two wedding cards. Let me just clean up my mess real quick. And, and then we will move on. You know, I put my stuff on trays. I separate the projects by trays and the tray is gone and it was big. That's so weird, I lost it. Usually I don't start losing things until the third project. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a long Facebook Friday, I guess. Um, before I switch over, let's look at this paper. I just ordered a new pack. And if you haven't gotten this paper, or you do have it and you've used a lot of it, I would encourage you to add it to your cart because look, these, you know, the flowers you can color, the flowers, okay, but I am a geometric girl. I like stripes and polka dots. So look, I mean, these are good. You can use these with all kinds of things. Oh, look, the diamonds. I love all of that paper. So make sure. The only other black and white paper we have right now is the Pattern Party paper, which is a, you can only get with Stampin' Rewards. So just keep that in the back of your mind. All right, project number two. Let's grab that forever and always. Thirsty. Yes, I have a Diet Coke today. Don't judge me. I know. I'm gonna hear. I'm gonna hear it. The Diet Coke. How bad it is. I know. I know. Belinda, I saw you. Don't. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> All right. This card. Did I? I didn't mention at the beginning of the video, at the beginning of Facebook Friday, that these projects. There's a PDF for these. If you're new, you may not know. Over at PinkBuckaroo.com. Um, under the last photo is this PDF, and it has all the products and the measurements, as well as links to those things that I talked about at the beginning. Oh, and I forgot to mention the Stamp and Rewards, the Extra Stamp and Rewards ends on the 14th. Is that right, you guys? The 14th, which is Monday. So if you spend over $250, you get an extra $25 in Stamp and Rewards. That may be a lot and you don't want to spend that much, but if you get together with a couple of friends and put your orders together, they'll be over $250 maybe, and then you can have stampin', extra Stampin' Rewards, get that awesome paper, split it. Anyway, Pepper, hello, yes. What, what? Mommy's working. All right, let's move on. So this card, this time, we're gonna... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's growling at me because she wants me to play. She's When she wants attention, she stands up, scratches my leg, and goes, arr, arr. Yes, there are three other girls in this house. You can go play with them. Go find your friends, your sisters. So, okay, let me just give her something so she'll stop clawing my leg. Here, Pepper. Yes, she's bugging me. Take her, please. That's okay. Thank you. All right, it's all right. Okay, so we're gonna stamp instead of die cut. So looking at the stamp set, you have the stamps, and then you also have um, the dies. So we cut out the word love, but you know, if you stamp it, then the, the little outline die that I said was kind of like it's little cloud cuts out the words. So that's what we're gonna do with the always. And we're gonna emboss it 
in gold. Let me make sure I'm using the right piece here. I've got several pieces of white cardstock. Let's see, that one's gonna go with that, that one's gonna go with that, okay. This time, no white craft ink. I'm using Versamark. Hi, Pam. Belinda, yes, I did three miles this morning. I typically do two and a half to three miles Monday through Friday. But I will tell you that I have been slacking on my walking since school got out. It's awful, hot and muggy, and I don't want to go outside. <laughs> So it's been very hard for me to um, motivate myself to go out. And we have a treadmill, but man, I hate the treadmill. It's just, ugh. But you know what? I finished a really good book today, um, an audio book. And so I was like, if I go walk, I'll be able to finish my book. And then it wasn't even that bad. It wasn't even that hot or muggy. Look, I'm going to have to restamp that. See what happened? I did not use my um, mat. So let's try that again. Let me get another piece of white. Walking outside is a way better workout. I swear that treadmill, even though it says I do three miles, does not feel like three miles. All right, we're gonna have to redo that again. Sometimes, and I haven't had this, that problem with this stamp. Sometimes, oh, now I've got gold everywhere. With your photopolymer stamps, in the middle, it will leave like a bubble and it won't stamp very good. So if you put a mat underneath, like a little foam mat, this is the, this is, this is not for my Stamparatus. I don't know where this one is from, but it's like the fun foam you get at the craft store. All right, there we go. Now that's more like it. Now, I do have a little, few little stray crumbs that I want to get rid of because they will dry like the others. You think they're just going to blow off because there's no ink there, but they don't. They stay and then they don't look good, okay? So get a skinny paintbrush, keep it with your embossing stuff. All right, there we go. Okay, now... Now we're gonna heat it again. Thanks for the share, Debbie. All right. Um, it reminds me, oh, who said that? Oh, I can't go back. Michelle, this one reminds me of the photo of your family. On Yes, I love that picture when my girls were little. We all wore pink and black, and it was so cute. We, my middle daughter had a, this like funny little skirt that was a like a hot pink tutu, and I, I, we were doing family photos, so I picked all of our clothes around that, and it was so cute. Oh, back when they were cute and fun. <laughs> they get mad when I say that. But you know, teenagers aren't the same thing as four-year-olds. They're not. Okay, forever and always. Now let me cut this away, because this is still loose powder on here, and we don't want that in our cut and emboss machine. Okay, so we're gonna cut those out. We're gonna use the always outline for that, and then we're gonna use that strip right there for that. Now, we're gonna use, we're gonna cut these flowers. See these flowers? This is from the other set um, that I showed you a minute ago. This, these are the dies. They're called floral heart dies. We're gonna use this one right here with on Mossy Meadow for this. We just need two of those little leaves. Then this one, it's gonna cut out three flowers, but we only need two of them. You'll have an extra one. And I can see I've got a little thing. Oops, that's the wrong one. I've got a little thing there. Now, again, we're gonna use adhesive sheets on this. Why is that not coming out? There we go. So, here is my adhesive sheet. We're gonna put that on the back of the white. We're gonna cut out those three, but then there are outline flowers, the back, like the solid flower that matches that shape. So we're gonna do that one, and this one right here. 
All right, so now that's a lot of die cutting. So let me make room once again for our cut and emboss machine to come over. I need to put this thing on the wheels. But then it would, that wouldn't work. <laughs> it would not work. Then it would be rolling around while I was trying to cut them out. All right, let's see if we can get everything on here. I didn't put the adhesive sheet on the back of the leaves because they're a little bit more solid and they're easy, easier to adhere. All right, so we're gonna get all this. Now, do you think I can get that? No, I don't trust myself. A little bit of tape and I'm gonna make sure that it stays where it's supposed to, like that. Post-it tape. I should be a spokesperson for post-it tape. I went to order some last night and it said it wasn't going to be in stock until like July. Ugh. Everybody bought it. I told you guys to buy it and you bought it and now there's none left. All right. Probably can find it at the office store. And there may be other, you know, you can buy like a set of two or from a different seller, whatever. All right, so we've got the leaves, Mossy Meadow. We're gonna punch those out. I'm gonna put that back on the sheet so that I don't lose them. And then this one. Okay, why am I putting all that over there when I have a trash can right in front of me? See, look, perfect. I love that. Okay, that one goes there. And this one, isn't that beautiful? So pretty. All right, and now let's get all of these off. For these guys, I have my um, die brush attachment for my take your pick tool, and that will make all of those come out real easily. So this is the one we're not gonna use, so we're just gonna sweep that away. You can save it, or you can chunk it, whatever. And now we're ready to assemble our card. All right, so I'm starting with a um, piece of basic white that is three and three fourths by five. And I have cut two pieces of the designer series paper that are two and a half by three and five eighths. But again, that's on that PDF. Don't write it on a post-it note. You're going to lose it. Just go over there and print it out or save it. Now I have cut three real skinny strips of polished pink and I'm gonna cut this is these are foam adhesive sheets different from what I was using a minute ago these are like dimensionals a big dimensional and I've cut them really skinny and I'm gonna put them on these little strips these little strips are about a quarter inch by four all right so I'm gonna put one right there in the middle Oh, are you serious? You guys can't find the post-it tape? Please don't tell me that means that it's going, like it's, like they're discontinuing it. Oh my gosh. Now you're scaring me, Carla. I better get on Amazon and look. I get it from Amazon. There's um, a link to it. At the top of my blog, there is a Amazon favorites tab. If you'll click on that, you'll see it there. You can click on it. Go over to Amazon where it is. And you know how Amazon is, they have different vendors. So maybe it's available from another vendor or in a two pack or whatever. Now everybody's racing and I'm gonna go afterwards and it's all gonna be gone. <laughs> okay, dimensionals. Has anybody found post-it tape in a store? Jewel, you found some on Amazon, you got it recently and it wasn't like, delayed oh Carla you meant the all over sticky notes oh I have those those are so good this kind where it's all sticky yeah those are good you haven't been able to find those man I love those okay so now let's put these flowers together um ah, I just dropped it oh no under the table and remember we put the adhesive back on it so it's a sticker 
The hardest part is just getting that started. There we go. All right, and then you just stick that down on the solid flower. Look how pretty that is, white on white. It's pretty if you use two colors also, but I really like tone on tone. And I think white is pretty elegant for, you know, for a wedding card. All right. Now we'll put this one on here. You got those jewel on Amazon too? Oh, it's showing available. Teresa. Well, they those liars at Amazon told me it was gonna be like July. <sighs> All right, now I cut these flowers out of that same white sheet that had the adhesive on the back. So luckily, I can just peel that off. I'm not gonna push it down yet. Actually, you know what? We're gonna do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think ahead this time instead of doing what I did before. Put that green stem, leaf, whatever you wanna call it, right there behind it. And the, the stickiness of the flower can hold down. Well, come on. You know what, that needs to be shorter. Yes, I just tore it, there we go. And that can hold down that leaf. You're seeing it, Catherine, available? It, I don't know, I just ordered it yesterday, last night. And it was like, sorry, you'll have to wait till July. Who knows? But good, I'm glad that it's there. <laughs> that freaked me out. Oh. All right. For the forever and, we're gonna do another long strip. This one may be a little bit too long. Yep, let's cut it. Put that there. And that's gonna sit right there. Okay, so there you go. Isn't that fun? Now, we still have to put it on a card base. Petal, or I keep wanting to call it petal pink. It's polished pink, you know, like nail polish, polished pink. If you don't like polished pink, don't use it. Just put on a white card base or, I don't know, a pale pink or red or whatever. And dimensionals, dimensionals, dimensionals. There's about five layers of dimensionals on this card, so you're going to need to up your postage. There you go. Look, ta-da! Three wedding cards. Now, if you guys need to make this into a gift card, let me just get a piece of... I don't have anything. Let's see, where do I have a piece of paper? Here, let me just cut one and I'll show you guys. So if you're gonna wanna make this into a gift card holder, I'm gonna show you the easiest gift card holder you've ever made. I feel like it's cheating even. But this is when you're like in a hurry and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't have a card. I need to make a gift card holder. I do this all the time. So just cut a piece of paper, designer series paper, like about two inches by four and a fourth. Put glue on three sides and just stick it down. And now you've made a pocket for the gift card. Stick it in there. And look, you don't even have to write that much because it took up all the room. <laughs> now you could get fancy and add some more of those flowers. Maybe pull out that flower, that white flower and one of those leftover branches and put it right there. All right. All right. Very good. One more card. Let me clean up my mess. And we are going to move to the messiest card that I have ever made. Oh, you guys have asked me to use the... And I keep calling it gold leafing. It's gilded leafing. The I recorded all three of these this morning, clean recordings. They're, they're over on YouTube. If you, you know, come back and you want to watch, but you don't want to hear all my chit chat. Um, I called it gold leafing in that video. I know, it's gilded leafing. That's what apparently it's called, but I think gold leafing sounds better. All righty, so we're gonna use that gilded leafing. It's in the spring catalog and it is carrying over and it has been on back order and it has been on non-orderable 
it has been very popular. The last time I checked, it was um, on low inventory again. So if you haven't gotten it, you need to get it. It's right here on page 33. And it's it's different than you think it's going to be. <laughs> Let me just tell you that. It's very lightweight and it's very staticky. I put it in this little box. This is like a, you know, food box for your pantry. Um, and when I put it, when I use it on the project today, you're going to see it flying everywhere. But I, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth the mess because look how beautiful this is. I mean, it's just so different. You know, if you were going to emboss with gold, that was my question in the beginning. What's the difference between this and embossing? Embossing is smooth. Let's look. We embossed over here with gold embossing powder. It's like a smooth, consistent, um, you know, consistency. Like it's not, there's not a lot of texture, but this is going to give you texture um, on it. And it looks almost you know, like ancient, some kind of something you'd see in a um, museum that has that texture, foil texture. So it's really fun. It's different. And it's, um, I don't know, it's just something a little bit different. Okay, let's see. We're going to save the gold gilded leafing to the very end because it's <laughs> going to make a giant mess. Um, let's do our stamping first. This time we are stamping. No, no, this time we are not stamping the always. We did that last time. This time we are going to cut out the always from basic black and um, the outline or the bubble in white. When I made this card back in February, I actually didn't use black. I used navy and it was gorgeous. But this time, I wanted all my projects to match, so <laughs> I switched to black. If you don't like black, that's fine. Use whatever you want. Um, I think black and navy are pretty dramatic, you know, that has kind of that, that wow factor. Let me grab my other stamp. Where did it go? It's probably buried in gilded leafing. Hmm. Hold on, where did it go? Here it is. Okay, we used it last time. So again, we're gonna just do the forever and always. And I'm gonna stamp that right there. For, mm, I don't like that. That looks kind of messy. Let's do it again. Forever, there we go. Okay, slide this guy back over. Line them all up, always. And let's get our little strip die. Thanks, Andrea. That's nice of you to say. I like it too. I will tell you, I was very intimidated by the gilded leafing, um, but it's fun. It's definitely something to try to play around with. All right, so we've got that, we've got that. Let's move this out of the way. Once you do the gilded leafing on this card, it's a pretty simple card. I mean, the only stamp we did is that, well, we're gonna stamp some flowers on the inside too. Now, this, you might find that um, laying this sticker down, laying these words down on the um, outline word is a little bit tricky. So I'm going to show you what I do. It's kind of, you know, delicate and it's wobbly and you can't get it lined up. So I start over here because this one is pretty easy to match up. Okay. So get that. Well, come on, come on, set that down there. Then be careful. Lay them down, but don't press them in real hard. And then come over here and the Y is easy to match up and the S is easy to match up. So get those matched and then come up and just lay these down. Luckily, this adhesive is very 
forgiving. So if you need to kind of pick it up and move it over after you've stuck it down lightly, you can. Like right here, this E. Now, what is this W, the end of the W? is not matching up where I want it. There we go. And then the A right there. All right, so once you have it, then you can press it down real good. All right, that's it. Oh no, yes, that's the scrap. All right, now for the gilded leafing, you're gonna want grid paper. If you've never ordered our grid paper, now's the time. <laughs> if you wanna recreate this card, you need the grid paper because we're going to use these uh, lines to line up our stripes. I'm just putting a little bit of adhesive on the back and then I'm going to line it up with the lines. All right, now comes the tear and tape. And I'm going to use tear and tape. I'm not doing any kind of embossing with this, I'm using tear and tape. And I'm going to do strips longer than my paper. And I'm going to line it up with this line over here and this line over here and then tear it. But see how it's longer? You want to make sure you go all the way to the end because if you don't, you're going to have like a hole there in your, in your leafing. Leafing in your gold, I don't know what you call it. Um, so I like to just go past. And yes, I'm sticking it down to the paper, but it's okay. It's going to come off. Okay, just keep going. I'm skipping a row each time. Okay, and there we go. Hi, Pam, happy weekend to you too. We're having a graduation party this weekend at the lake. <sighs> It'll be fun, it's just a lot of work. All right, so we've got all that. Now, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna peel it up. It's gonna rip that grid paper, that's fine. That's okay. And where are my scissors? I'm gonna take my scissors and cut all of those pieces off. Okay, so that now they're even. And I wanna get as much of this tape away from here as possible because, because you'll see we're gonna have gold everywhere. I have gold gilded leafing or gold leafing, whatever you wanna call it. It's been around for a long time. I've never used it until this year. Okay, I'm gonna stick this back down like that and get my, um, Denise is asking, that's a great question. Is there a reason to use heat and stick powder? Tape works fine. So if you wanted it to stick to an image, maybe a stamped image, the heat and stick powder would be easier because then it would, you know, you could stamp the stamp in the heat and stick powder, if that makes sense. Tape is good if you, you know, I'm not sticking it to any kind of image. All right. Now we're ready. Here we go. It's gonna fly everywhere. I'm being dramatic. You guys are probably like, okay, Erica, just take it and sprinkle it around. And it's so lightweight. See how it just sticks to you and it sticks and it blows around. And it's like, it's just, I don't even know how to describe it. It's so light and staticky. <laughs> All right. So that's all I needed. I am gonna use, you can use a variety of things. I have a sponge in there, but of course now it's covered. Um, you can use your one of your blending brushes and just start working it off like that. But what I really like to do to use is my paintbrush. It seems to be a little bit rougher and it gets all the pieces off of that in that, those straight lines. Okay, now this is a paintbrush you're probably not gonna wanna paint with later. See, it's blowing around. All right, so then we've got some places where we've got like chunks. <laughs> yeah, chunks. So you're gonna work that, work them all out. 
Now, do you guys remember the desktop vacuum? I haven't used it in a while, but guess what? It works perfectly. Another Amazon find, uh-huh. And yes, I already linked it on today's blog post because I knew you guys were gonna ask. Isn't that awesome? Now, the other thing that I like to do, let me get this off. See here how it's kind of rough on the edges? I like to take just an eraser and smooth those edges. And let's get a little more of this off down here. A dryer sheet, yes, that might, that might um, a rubbed a dryer sheet in your container. Yeah, that probably would have been smart. <laughs> Too late for me, but yes, you guys for sure. Um, does it come off after you are finished? No, it does not, Cindy, at all. That's a great question. It does not. Um, like on your hands and stuff? No. It's, uh, it's on there, and it's smooth. Well, it's not smooth, smooth, but... It is, it doesn't, it's not going to come off on your fingers. All right, so there's that. And let's bring this over here. I have a basic black card base. It's sticky on the back, so I don't want to set it down too hard or it'll be stuck to the table. I'm going to stick it to this black, basic black card base. Right here. Look. Oh my gosh, look. It's like on my nail. <laughs> huh, has anybody ever used it on their nails? Look, like it's not gonna come off. Huh, interesting. <laughs> All right, now I've got the, this word. We're just gonna use a couple dimensionals on there. And we're gonna stick that down here like that. This could be an anniversary card too, don't you think? I think my husband might like this card better. Less pink. And a little strip adhesive, foam adhesive sheet. Adhesive sheet and foam adhesive sheet, two different things. And that's gonna go right there. Now for the inside, you know when I first started stamping, and maybe you guys are gonna laugh, when I would make a card in a dark card base, I went to use it, one of them, and I was like, oh, I can't, I can't use this card. I can't write on here. I, I don't have a, a white pen. Well, duh, Erica, just cut a piece of white and put it on the inside. I've come a long way from my beginning, <laughs> from my beginning stamping. All right, so just cut a piece of white, either four by five and a fourth, or three and three fourths by five, and put that on the inside. That way, you can write your message. Now, one more thing, because you know, just all that gold is not enough. We gotta add a little bit more. Let's add the gilded gems. A few, oh. I almost used a choice word, did you guys hear that? My putty is all funky. Let's see. Let's just take it off and start new. All right. Try that again. There's one. Let's use a medium one over here. We'll put a large one. I think I'm going to need that for the large one. There we go. Down there. What is going on with my putty? You know, this thing always wants to make a fool of me. <laughs> and one more little one down there. And, oh, we have a stray one. Ta-da! It's a pretty simple card, right? <laughs> All right, what do you guys think? See, it looks different than gold embossing. That, that was really my question in the beginning. Um, it's just a different texture, a different feel. Uh, you don't need a heat tool if you use tape. And it's fun. You know, got to have fun. Okay, that's it for today, you guys. We made three cards. Let's look at them. I always like to put them all out together. If you do want to come back and watch the video again um, to see how I did something, the clean recordings are over on YouTube. Um, they're each about 10 minutes long. And um, they're linked under each photo on today's blog post. 
If you want these cards, remember, or the make and take, not the completed cards, you're gonna get a make and take kit. If you want the make and take kit, make sure your order is in by Monday at midnight using that host code unless your order is over $150. Don't use a host code because you'll get stamp and rewards and I'll still send you the make and takes, okay? All right, you guys, thanks so much for joining me. Um, I'll be back next week with that Hey Girlfriend stamp set um, and three really cute projects. Have a wonderful weekend, you guys. Thanks, bye-bye.